Welcome back again, folks, to the house that never sleeps. Uh, that picture that, uh, at the beginning of this video, that was a hangout I was in today, actually. And uh, my camera kept... It wasn't picking up me. It was showing my avatar as a, an alien face, head, an alien head. But the camera must have been working because if I moved my head like this, the alien head moved that way. And if I got up close, it got up close. It was just really weird. Uh, still haven't figured that out. But that's what that picture was. I was showing uh, one of the guys that was in there. They were seeing my guitar uh, picture. They wouldn't even see any face or alien head or anything. I think they thought I was crazy when I told them I kept seeing an alien head. One guy did see it. Uh, for like three seconds, he said. Anyways, that's what the picture was to show uh, one of the guys in the hangout what I was seeing. Uh, I have to figure out why, how that works, why it was doing that. <clears throat> Got to be some kind of software error or something. Anyways, we're going to get on this Martin today. And uh, you can hear the problem. bring the camera over here and show you they got a piece of paper stuck under the string in the slot to raise that string and it's still not high enough and I checked the uh, nut action on the other strings is 18 thousandths it's exactly where we want to be on this type of guitar except that six string is I don't know what it is I don't care but it's way less than 18 so I have some bone dust around here, powder, bone powder. I'm going to, I'll bring the camera in over here and show you what I'm going to do. Hold on. Okay, you can see the paper he has stuck in there to raise that string up. Just take it right out of there. It just fell out. And I'm going to loosen all the strings for this. I'll show you why in a minute. Shortly. We're not going to take the nut out. Okay, so the problem here is we have one slot too deep. That string is the one buzzing on this fret. And uh, like I say, I have some bone powder here that I have accumulated. You can use uh, baking soda if you don't have... any powder like this all we got to do now is drop a drop of thin CA glue onto that let it set in fact I'm gonna pack that down in that hole just a wee bit One drop of CA glue. That's all you need. Now, I'm not going to hit that with the accelerator, but I will um, pause the camera. We'll wait for that to set up, and I'll bring you back, and we will cut a new slot into that, and uh, we'll be as good as new again. Hold on. want to round that back down flat with the top and then we are going to uh, I used uh, my caliber on these strings they're uh, 12 to 54 so I found a 50 I found I already got a 54 gauge nut file here after I got it out of the package and uh, once I get this level down smooth then I'll take that nut file and we will put a new nut in there, a new slot, and make it have uh, 18 thousandths on that string. Whew. 
you can use sandpaper for this. I just uh, files probably a little bit faster. The food's ready. The food is ready. So I rounded it off on the front up here and across the top. And I just take calibers and got the width of the strings here. And it doesn't really matter what they are. I'm just using this to mark my spot. And you can see, I don't know if the camera's getting that little tiny pencil mark I marked there or not. Just to assure I'm the same distance the other strings are. And it's right on the money. So, all I have to do now is take the nut file, it's a 54.054 gauge, and start to work right where that line is. Now, if you remember, If you remember the little, uh, I don't know where it's at, this little device to measure threads per inch, okay? That's what it's for. Comes in a tap and die set. I've used it for years for this right here to start off new nut slots. I didn't think I knew where it was at or I would have used it just now. Let me make sure I got the right file. Yeah. very handy for that and we want the brake angle to be on this side <coughs> of the nut and uh, I'll make note again here I'm filing the same uh, angle that the headstock is okay I'm not laying the file up here flat like this or holding it at any angle I want this way I, ho I have it in line with the headstock as much as possible and you normally usually you want to file uh, say if I was filing out this third one okay the third slot for the third string I would want to file the same angle as the headstock, but I would want to aim the file just a little bit toward the third peg. Okay, see what I mean? So it might not be straight like that, but rather be angled like that. And that, you know that stops a lot of uh, a lot of uh, hanging up in your your nut when you're tuning, or bending strings or whatever. So hold on, I'm going to put the strings back on it, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so we have a little more than 18 thousandths now, so I need to remove just a tiny bit more off of that. I'm sure I got the right file here. And it doesn't take very much with those with those files. Like I say, the Stumac files are fine. It's the packing, packaging I have trouble with. It's up to pitch, I think. And we can come a little more than that. Even yet. I see dust falling away as I file.
see that shows that fifth string up third string is exactly 18 now we can go a little bit more buddy it ain't gonna take very much more for that there again falling at the same angle as the headstock man we are right there that's it no more buzzing on that 6-3 hear that I was just looking at this guitar closer and let me get the camera and show you some things here it's got some issues going on with it I hadn't noticed before hold on hold on the trail of a bird so we're going to glue this crack up here not in this video but videos to come but look at that look at those bridge pins this pin is turned that way. This pin is turned that way. This pin's turned way that way, it looks like. Just uh, a lot of funkiness going on with those bridge pins. And I just noticed frets are pretty bad. It needs fret work right now, but wasn't told to do it. That's probably the worst one there. See that? So, uh, let's see how the nut works. We'll worry about this other stuff. I, I don't like the looks of that at all, man. That's just, uh, check that out really weird let's see how the nut works we'll worry about this other stuff later hold on sounds good it's out of tune but remember how that buzzed before Okay, there's one problem fixed. Uh, next, we will tackle the pick guard, taking the pick guard off, or maybe that. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next Martin repair video. Cheers to you. A little bit of wet sanding.